I'm delving into the world of Tropfest, a short film contest in Australia, and this is the winner from 2014, Granny Smith. He had a good night. <laughs> what is going on? Chef, Chef. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oi, it's work. You got to answer it. Tell him I can't go in. <laughs> I got it. I got it. <sighs> Paul's fine. This is Sebastian. Yeah, look, he's not really up for talking right now. Um, it's his granny. Yeah, well, she's dead. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now, I'm self-employed, so I don't have this problem. But if you're employed and you use that line to get off work, remember, when your nan granny dies later on in life, you cannot use... You cannot use that excuse. Because she is already dead. Or at least that's what work think. Yeah, it's come as a huge shock. I mean, she was his only grandparent left. Oh, that makes it even worse! I'll be sure to pass that on. Yeah, mate, all sorted. Oh, my God. Oh, man. What's wrong with you? What do you mean? I just got you three days off. Mm, yes. You and me, we can do whatever we want. Okay, we've got a huge week this week, but before we get into that, I want to welcome back a very brave young soldier, Paulie. <laughs> How are you holding up, mate? I mean, obviously, with, um, with Nana passing away, it hasn't been, it hasn't been a great week. Yeah, well, we've all been thinking of you, mate. Was she on your mum's or your dad's side? She was actually my um, mum's mum. Yeah, she was my mum. Yeah, very sad. So when's the funeral? The funeral's going to be, um, it's going to be tomorrow morning. I was, gonna, I was gonna ask you, I didn't mind if I take just tomorrow morning off. Don't be stupid. You take the whole day off, mate. Thanks, Jeff. Just let us know where it is, because we're all coming. Uh, <laughs> how the hell does he get around that? Everyone's planning on coming to his nan's funeral. Oh no. How is. Uh, uh, just imagine, okay, telling this lie and then sitting in this office, finding out that your work colleagues and your boss are going to be attending your pretend nan's funeral. Guys, thanks. I really appreciate that. But it's, look, it's just going to be a small family and friend thing. Hey, hey. Look around, mate. We are family. We are your family. <laughs> How's my boy? Yep. Still awesome. playing Nintendo 64? Everyone from work wants to come to my grandma's funeral. But they actually believe me. Mate, I don't think that's how bad this is. <laughs> Whatever. What did you end up telling them? I spent the entire afternoon looking up funerals in the paper. And tomorrow I'm going to some lady's funeral I've never met, pretend to be her grandson. You're a genius. What? I'm gonna come. I'm gonna call Dad. I gotta borrow a suit. Oh, this is gonna be great, Paul. Yeah. This is a disaster waiting to happen, isn't it? Surely they don't get away with this. Hey, Reeves. Hey, Jeff. How are you doing? Thanks for coming, guys. Oh, you all made it. Jeez, thanks, guys. Hey, don't worry about us, mate. Yeah, thanks, mate. Yep. Yeah. Just get down the front with your family. And thanks, guys. Nice. This is so awkward. <laughs> There's a turn for the worst. Oh, don't. Oh. Clearly, I'm not her grandson.
Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to God, celebrate well the done. rich and brilliant life. It's going really well. Brenda Jones. Sorry. She has been a massive part of all our lives. Is Paul adopted? Should we ask? Show a bit of respect. <laughs> it's, it's funny that one person asks if he's adopted. Probably not the sort of thing you bring up on the day of, of the Nan's funeral. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Thank you, Pam, for that lovely reading. I now welcome Yao, who will sing a song that he has written especially for his beloved grandma. As we enjoy the song, I ask that her grandchildren can oh. hear Brenda from the channel. <laughs> She's going to have to stand up. Thank you. Oh, God. I've got to go and that. Oh, no. This is crazy. His, if I was his mate, uh, I would be having the best time. There is nothing better than seeing your mate just his life. Oh, I can't even say the words, but okay. The most awkward situations. This is what this guy is in. And as I said, for his mate, it must be hysterical. I would be crying inside with laughter. No one stopped him though. <laughs> Mate, that was a uh, really inspirational scene for a great lady. Thanks a lot, Jeff. I wish I could have met her. You, you look after the family, mate. He's that little kid. I will. Thanks a lot, mate. Thanks for coming. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate that. Thanks a lot. Oh, she's suspicious. She is it. suspicious. Oh my god. And they just walk off. People talking about like an after party thing. We could go to. Mate, I'm done. Really? Oh, I'm sorry. Red. Morning, team. What are we? Morning, Jeff. We're winners. That's what we are. Winners. Okay, we've got a lot to get through today, so let's hose straight into it. Yeah. Sorry, can I just have a quick chat with Paul? Far away. It's just a bit personal, that's all. Maggie, well, I've got a lot to get through today. We are all family. You have the floor. OK. Uh, I just got a phone call from your mum. Uh, she wants you to come home straight away. Your grandma has just passed away. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> I did say right at the start, if you use that line, get off work, that your nan has died, you can only use it once. So if it really happens, then yeah, it's not going to work, is it? That was brilliant. That was absolutely fantastic. I can understand why it won Tropfest Australia 2014. That was fantastic. Hopefully this is going to lead to watching more if it's the world's largest short film festival, they must be top quality, especially the winners. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it too. That was a good laugh. I will catch you next time.